All right, uh, so uh, what I'm hoping to cover today is uh, we'll talk about the different index types, different, different ways to build an indexing data structure depending on what you want to do with your search engine. And uh, maybe we'll get to index compression. And then in the next lecture, we're going to talk about query execution strategies. And this will play uh, a, a big part in your, second, uh, in your second coursework, which will be out uh, by the end of today. So um, indexing is what makes search engines uh, fast. So um, if you think about the way, uh, the scale on which Google operates, it should be evident that you can't do simple things, right? If you have 20 billion pages in your index, you cannot afford to take a query and compare each document uh, one by one uh, to the query, because this is not going to scale when you have millions of queries uh, being matched against billions of documents. So you need something faster. Right? Um, and the basic idea, the basic data structure that we're going to use to make things fast is called an in inverted index. And uh, the, the best way to think about what it is, is think about the index at the back of the book. Right. So you have a book. Now, in the back of it, what you have is you have a list of keywords, and next to each one of these keywords is there is a couple of pages that talk about that subject. So that is an example of a manually constructed index. So somebody, typically the author of the book, decided what the important terms are, and then decided which pages are best descriptions or definitions of these terms, and then put those pages there. So uh, an inverted index that a search engine uses is very much the same type of a data structure um, with one big difference. Uh, you don't choose which phrases and words you index. You basically index everything. Right? So you pick all the words and phrases, and you store pointers to all the pages <coughs> that contain uh, a mention of those words and phrases, right? <clears throat> so um, it's a nice data structure to have. It allows very quick retrieval of material, right? Once you've looked in the index, once you found the page that contains a certain word, you can jump straight to, that, straight to that page, right? You no longer need to scan the individual pages. So it allows effectively a sublinear uh, access time to the material that you're looking for. Um, so uh, Now, it's a simple data structure. One thing that I sort of want to really stress at this point is uh, this data structure is, it, it is specific to search engines. So if you think that search engines use relational databases underneath, they don't. Right? Uh, this data structure is simpler than what is used by relational databases, and there are reasons for that. Reasons are you can optimize this data structure specifically for the kind of access that a search engine is going to do. 